welcome back to, well, actually, welcome to my new kitchen. Um, today, I'm going to make some strawberry rhubarb um, fruit roll-ups, or fruit leather. I guess I can't really say fruit roll-ups, can I, because that's a brand name. Um, so I have cut up about um, six stalks of rhubarb that were about like this. So they're just little ones. This one's kind of floppy. I'm still going to put it in there though. And um, a pint, is this a pint size um, of strawberries? So I'm just going to cook those down um, on, th on the heat um, until they're all soft. Um, I'm going to put in a little bit of water and some maple syrup and some applesauce. I need to find the applesauce and um, a little bit of water. So then I will uh, bring you back when I get that started up. Okay, so I've got all of the stuff here. Um, I hope you can see me. Uh, this kitchen's a little bit weird and my big tripod is broken. So um, I'm either going to have to super glue it or buy a new one. Okay, so I've got about um, half a cup, four ounces, or 125 milliliters of water. It's not, you don't really need too much um, because there's a lot of water in the rhubarb and the strawberries. And then I'm just going to put in um, about that much maple syrup. <laughs> I guess that was, that was probably about a quarter cup. And I'm going to put in this and this again is about a quarter cup of applesauce and I guess it's helpful to turn on the heat under the burner so once this starts to um, cook down then I will put in uh, some gelatin as well and I don't think it's going to need anything other than um, other than that, we just stir it all up and just let it cook down. Um, I'm not sure how much pectin is in strawberries and rhubarb, so I might put in. Yeah, I might put in another quarter cup of applesauce. So let me do that. Right. Just happen to have another cup. And this is also, um, I may not use this whole batch um, for making fruit leather. Um, I also like strawberry rhubarb on uh, pancakes, on ice cream, on yogurt. Um, I just love anything strawberry rhubarb. Um, you can get strawberry rhubarb cider, strawberry rhubarb uh, wine, strawberry <laughs> You get the idea, right? Yeah. I like everything strawberry rhubarb. Um, yeah. So we'll just let this cook down a little bit. And I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like. Sorry about that, I didn't realize the faucet was like right in the way. Um, so just got that in there and it'll take a little while to cook down. I've got it on a medium heat. Okay, so this has been going for about 10 minutes now. And you can see it's really, really breaking down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down um, a couple of notches and just let it simmer for a little bit to uh, work off some of the the uh, the liquid um, so that it's, I don't know, a little bit thicker. And I'm going to put in some uh, gelatin and then um, we'll have to let it cool bring you back later. Okay, 
So I'm just going to put in, I'm guesstimating, maybe about, I don't know, a tablespoon or so of gelatin. It might be a little bit more. So I'm just going to stir that in. And then I'll see um, how much it's gelling um, once some more of the liquid has um, evaporated off. I'm going to turn it down and maybe put a splatter guard on it because it's making a mess of my stove. <laughs> Found the splatter guard. So if as soon as I move it, it's gonna splatter. So it's thickening up some. Stick this here. So that looks pretty good like that. I'm going to let it uh, cool now and it's quite warm in the apartment right now. So it's gonna probably take a while. Like it'll be tomorrow um, before I can really do anything with this. Tomorrow, I will stick it in the dehydrator. Okay, here we are the following morning, <coughs> and I am going to put this on the dehydrator tray and stick it in the dehydrator while I'm out for the day. it's uh, gelled enough. So I'm just going to spread it out on this tray on the parchment paper. Try to get it as evenly as possible. Mash up these bigger chunks. Yeah, I should probably put this in the food processor, but we'll see how this goes. It might be interesting with chunks in it. I don't know. I don't want like blank spots. I want it to be even. If you don't do it evenly then it doesn't dry evenly and the edges will get crunchy and where there's not much it'll be crunchy but then the rest will be kind of gooey once again folks i am just winging it i did not you know look up how to do this um just like the kale and carrot uh, leather that i did last year um i'm just trying stuff. I put flavors together that I like together and I just see if it's gonna work because that's how I roll. <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna stick this in here in the middle just because it's the only one the only tray that I'm putting in and I'm gonna put the temperature I guess oops, to Where's my, oh, there it is. Um, I'm gonna put the temperature to about 140, 140 Fahrenheit, which is about 60 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna have to move this away um, from a wall because the back fan needs to be, and the fan here needs to be a foot away from anything. So. We'll just turn that on, let it go, and uh, we'll come back and check on it in a few hours. Hi folks, welcome back. Okay, so I literally just walked back in the door. I left my apartment this morning at 8 a.m., went out to my condo, went and picked up some of my plants. They were still there for showing purposes. Um, so I just got back now. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the afternoon. 
So you're seeing this as I'm seeing this. I don't know what, if this actually worked, but it's kind of, it's kind of warm in here. Okay, so let's have a look. Put you down here. Whew, steamy. Okay. Turn that off. Ooh. Looks not too, too bad. So I'm gonna have to wait for it to cool, I think, before I can peel it from the paper. And I have literally been out walking for all afternoon and then we went out for lunch, late lunch. So I'm going to sit and relax for a little bit. When this cools off, I'll come back and I'll tell you how it turned out. Okay, let's give this a try now. So I'm gonna get it off of the, oh, it's coming off the paper. Quite easy. Look at that. That was easy. So then I'm just gonna take a bit Mmm. I just love these two flavors together, strawberry rhubarb. I mean, to me, it just means summer in Ontario. Strawberry rhubarb, as soon as they're both out, I am putting them together. I'm mashing them, putting them on everything. This is really, really good as a fruit leather. So, so good. But, um, so all this was, was like six, um... Six stalks of rhubarb, a pint or whatever that is of uh, strawberries, maybe about a quarter cup of maple syrup, a couple tablespoons of gelatin, cook that all down, dehydrate it for 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1 about seven hours. I think it was in there seven or eight hours and this is perfect. This is perfect texture for fruit leather perfect perfect flavor this is amazing don't waste anything i'm just using the same parchment paper to wrap these up Just wrapping it in parchment so that they don't stick together. Oh, and then I'm just gonna stick them in this little reusable pouch with the frogs on it. Oops. It's hard to do one handed. nice snack for hiking highly recommend this i hope you try it if you do let me know down in the comments or tell me what do you think of strawberry and rhubarb together do you like these flavors or do you just not like them to, together at all i know some people just don't like rhubarb this is so good though mm. Mm. happy summertime folks this is great